We've tried to give you a fairly comprehensive look at two big topics, getting ready for home ventilator care and the use of diaphragm pacing. Our thanks to the families who participated and represented the hundreds of vent and pacer patients at Children's Hospital Los Angeles, where the ultimate goal is for the family to be together, to make the most of their lives, and even find time to swim with the dolphins. We hope you've picked up some tips that are useful and make life a little easier. We also hope we've passed on something a little harder to measure, but incredibly important, a loving and positive attitude. What would we do if it wasn't for this? And okay, if that's what we wanna do, how can we get there? Everything from going for a walk with a ventilator and oxygen dragging along, and Jimmy has uh, GI problems as well, all the stuff that it took, how can we do that? We want to go for a walk, so make it happen. And so you have to be creative, but we were going to go for the walks. We were going to go for the drives. We were going to go to grandma's for dinner. So you just had to figure out what, you're out, what you wanted as your outcome and then get yourself there. I think believing in yourself, um, really seeking resources and continuing to push and understand what might be available if you just keep looking. Um, there are so many new technologies available that could be helpful to children who are technology dependent with the use of computers, for example, that can enable someone to do something in this day and age that would have been impossible beforehand to, you know, to really look and see what your dreams are. And, and try to chase them as best as possible. I just keep trying until I get it. Wow, so you're very tenacious, right? You want it, you get yes. it. Yes. <laughs> I mean, I understand there are things I can't do. And I don't fight that, but if I really believe I can do it, I go for it.